Hello and welcome. Here's what's coming up on Friday today. Little Nas X seemingly comes out as bisexual. We have all the info. And Rave Bays will love this new interview. I'm hanging out with DJ Nightmare. Plus, have you binged the new season of The Traders? We have brand new interviews. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky Cornish. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at stories making headlines. After being celebrated for years as an out gay rapper who made several references to his queerness in songs, performances, music videos, and social media posts, Little Nas X has now shared a new tweet about potentially identifying as bisexual. The tweet says, be for real, would y'all be mad at me if I thought I was a little bisexual? He then sent another tweet which says, that was my last time coming out the closet, I promise. Now Nas is known for trolling and entertaining his fans online, so if he's joking or being serious, we love him either way. For more on this story, head to out.com. And for my EDM lovers, this next interview is for you. DJ Nightmare has a packed schedule heading into this new year. Let's take a look. You're letting a lot of people out there get a first-hand view of what it's like for you to be on the road and checking out all these incredible places around the world in this new Paramount Plus series. Can you kind of yes. tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, totally. So um, exactly as you said, I was having so, I, there's so many cool experiences I get to have on the road. And a lot of them are experiences that I would have never planned or thought about doing or expected to do in certain cities. Yeah, eventually kind of developed into different artists in a different city for each episode. So there's only one episode that has me in it, actually. But every episode is a little different just because every artist is different and host is different and mine was very food centric. We did a lot of food things and every single friend of mine at the end of the episode is like, I'm going to get tacos right now. I just watched you eat tacos for an hour straight in Mexico. And <laughs> so um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of great feedback and people seem to be loving it. For sure, my man. I think that's kind of the best thing about the EDM community is of course we love the music and everything, but I feel like at the end of the day, it's a real community. Like when I went to EDC for this first time this past year, I could not believe just like the love on that yeah. field. Like everybody was rooting for each other. Everybody was so nice. I have yeah. to imagine being like a beacon of light and a community built on like love and respect and hope must feel pretty good at the end of the day. Totally. I mean, I think that's one of the things that really attracted me to this industry. A very pleasing thing to see the amount of people like feeling like themselves as much as possible. You know what I mean? And it's like, I feel like you can go into that environment and it's just like a judgment free zone where you feel like you can be yourself. And finally, reality TV junkies can't get enough of the traders. I recently caught up with host Alan Cumming and the show's cast. Here's a look. We've seen you in so many iconic roles throughout the years. What made you want to say, I'll host this wildly crazy reality TV show? <laughs> um, well, I just sort of, when I spoke to the producers about it, I mean, initially I was like, what? But when I spoke to them and I sort of realized it was pl playing a character, I just thought it was fun and weird and camp and uh, I, I'm sort of drawn to sort of odd things. So it was mostly just the idea that I was doing something I'd never done before was what drew it to me. Very cool. And you know, I'm super curious. You know, you have some iconic reality TV show vets that are in this house from Big Brother and Bravo and all these things. Had you watched any of those shows before heading into this gig? <laughs> no, I, I, I hadn't. That was hilarious to me. I mean, it was just, it was so fun and so ridiculous. And then when people say things like, I can't believe you lied to me. You're like, hello, it's called The Traitors. <laughs> <laughs> Lying is pretty important. My name is Ricky Cornish. Thanks for joining me on Pride Today. Check us out on Advocate Channel, streaming daily on YouTube.